Hi, here we have a setup consisting of a copper conductor connected to a cell through the red wire which is connected to the positive terminal of the cell and the black wire which is connected to the negative terminal of the cell and we have a compass with a magnetic needle. The red part of the needle points towards the north and the blue to the south just like a suspended bar magnet. If we keep the compass near the conductor and switch on the current, we see that the magnetic needle deflects and as soon as we switch off the current, the magnetic needle comes back to its original position. Do you know the reason for this deflection? Let's find out. As we know when the two bar magnets are brought near, they repel. Similarly, the compass needle also gets deflected when brought near a magnetic field. But in our case, there is no other magnet. Then what causes the deflection? Yes, you guessed it right. It is the electric current passing through the wire that causes this deflection. This means a current carrying conductor behaves like a magnet and has its own magnetic field. Let us see if the magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor has any similarity with the magnetic field produced by the magnet or not. For magnets, the larger the magnet, the more the strength of the magnetic field. Let us see if it is true for a current carrying conductor as well. Let us turn on the switch and see the deflection with a single battery. Now let us increase the current in the conductor by using two batteries and see what happens. The deflection is more than the previous one. Thus, the magnetic effect is directly proportional to the current. So what we have observed is that by increasing the current, deflection also increases. Here we see that as the compass is moved away from the current carrying conductor, the deflection of the compass needle reduces. Thus we can deduce that the magnetic field strength of the conductor is inversely proportional to the distance from the current carrying conductor. We have seen that when we keep the compass below the current carrying conductor, the compass needle gets deflected in the northeast direction. Now let us see what happens if we keep the compass above the current carrying conductor. The compass needle shows deflection in reverse direction, that is northwest direction. Hence we can say that the polarity of the magnetic field below and above the conductor is in opposite direction. If the current in the conductor is flowing in the downward direction, the compass needle deflects in northeast direction. Now when we reverse the direction of the current in the conductor in the upward direction, the compass needle shows deflection in the opposite direction, that is northwest direction. So we can say that as the direction of the current reverses, the deflection of the compass needle also reverses. The person to discover the magnetic effect of electric current was Hans Christian Oster.